Cheers and welcome to the Beer Search Party. My name is Sean Inman. We are doing another spontaneous beer review tasting with you tonight. And it's Full Sail Slipknot, a Imperial IPA, Brewmaster Reserve 2009, 7.8% by volume alcohol. Now, I'll get back to the Imperial thing in just a second, but first I want to tell you that um, Full Sail, like a lot of breweries, You've probably had quite a few of their regular line of beers, the regular IPA, their pale ale, amongst others. And you tend to forget that brewery and you go on to newer breweries or you go on to something more expensive or you hop on the latest trend like sour beers or such. you got to go back and keep trying the new offerings that these breweries uh, put out. A lot of breweries, their bread and butter is indeed those regular line of beers but where they really get a chance to shine is in their special series that they have. Deschutes has a special series. Uh, Dogfish Head has specials. You really need to go and try those and keep up with what that brewery that you may have started out with is up to. Full Sail is a case in point. They have a lovely brewery in Hood River. Right outside you can just look at all the people that are out there uh, surfing on the Columbia River. It's an excellent spot. Um, and they do a lot of excellent beers. They let their brewers go wild. Uh, they did a Berliner Weiss recently. Uh, they just came out uh, about a week or so ago with their grandson of Spot. They do another IPA, hoppy pale ales that they do uh, with iterations of grandson and Spot and such. But Slipknot is another excellent choice. Um, Imperial, eh, wasn't really shipped to the Tsars, now was it? So we can't really call it Imperial, per se. That's just being persnickety. Um, I prefer the, the term double IPA or triple IPA or monstrously overhopped IPA, whatever you prefer. But let, enough of that. Let's get to the actual beer here. I hadn't had Full Sail in a while, which is why I picked this one up. Being in Southern California, you don't get a, a lot of the specialty beers from the Oregon Brewers or the Washington Brewers, but hopefully that will keep changing as the beer culture down here changes and grows and expands. So that's a nice, beautiful uh, orange color there. Very nice. Very nice head there. So let's take a taste of the Slipknot. Oh yeah, that hits you both barrels with the hops right at front. Get a little bit of citrusy bitterness once that initial blast is through. Um, the aroma is fairly muted. It doesn't uh, bounce out with any florals or piney resins or any of uh, the normal hop signifiers. That's not bad though. It hits right up front with the hops, uh, gets a little citrusy like I said, and then sort of fades off, but there's still a coating on the tongue. Some people like that, others don't. I prefer sort of not because it I want that next sip to hit me again and not slide over the coat of previous hops. But for an Imperial IPA, it's fairly, it's not that heavy. I mean, it's 7.8% alcohol, which is heavy, but not too bad though. I mean, we'll see at the end of the bottle, but. Yeah, it fades away agreeably. It doesn't stick the whole time. It's got that blast and then it fades off and just leaves that little coating on the tongue. Not bad though. Not bad at all. I would like to try their grandson of spot as well and give a side by side comparison, but this one is this one's good. So, that's it. Full sail, slipknot, twenty two ounces of brewed goodness from the fine people in Hood River, Oregon at full sale. I suggest you try Slipknot out.
And if you can find any other uh, of the Brewmaster Reserve series of 2009 or 2008 from Full Sail, by all means grab those as well. Thank you very much for watching. This is Beer Search Party. My name is Sean, and have a great night.